now. Tom Walls Carbide Processors. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show the difference in heating rates between the tungsten carbide and steel. What we have here are, is a piece of mild steel and a piece of tungsten carbide that are roughly, they're within a few percent of the same weight. We're going to time them with a stopwatch. We're going to heat them up until they turn red and we're just going to keep the camera on those two. So I'm turning on the induction unit now and it's a one kilowatt induction unit and the stopwatch and now we're going to sit here and just watch two little pieces. The reason to do this, this is an induction coil and it generates a magnetic field kind of around the coil, uh, around the copper wires. The copper is, there's not, they're not wires, they're tubes. The copper is hollow to allow um, cooling water to circulate through it. The kind of little whirring humming noise in the background is the water chiller operating. Uh, I'm going to turn the light off, I think, because there, you can start to see the red on the steel. And this is what we're talking about. Steel is pretty much all iron. Um, carbide is maybe 5-10% or so cobalt. The steel is 10 to 20 times more there. You can start to see the carbide heat up at about one minute. So the difference here is the difference in the two heating rates. You can see that the steel gets a lot faster um, than the car or it gets hot a lot sooner than the carbide does. Um, and that's a big part of what you have to take into account using an induction system raising steel to carbide. Okay, that's it.